Hi guys, today I am reading you one of my favorite stories from my favorite book and it is called The Boy, the Donkey and the Miller. So this is the book. Quick recheck. So that is the book I'm reading you. So here's how it begins. Once upon a time there is a miller and a donkey. The miller stared and gazed at the donkey angrily and said, why is that donkey so old? He's not doing his work. I'll just sell him, he's too old. So he called his boy. They grabbed the carrot and caught the donkey and polished him and cleared him up. They didn't want him to get dirty. So they carried him. The little girls started laughing and saying, <laughs> because they're like oh, the boy the boy should be riding the donkey why are you carrying him they both but they both squealed the girls squealed very loudly and then the miller was very surprised but he didn't want to be laughed and squealed at. So he picked up the boy and put it and put him on the donkey. And then a few miles later they started to drudge and drag themselves all the way. They started to drag themselves and drudge. So, okay, so they started to drag themselves and because they're very tired. It's kind of like they're walking but in a very tired way and it's very tiredly. So, but then they saw some men and then they said, Oh, you lazy lad. Why you cow sitting on the donkey? Your father, that poor man, he should be riding on the donkey. So then the miller took off the boy, the donkey, and then the miller started riding on the donkey. A few miles later, they saw ladies and they're like, oh, you stupid man, you have a son and he's walking so tiredly behind you. You let him sit on the donkey. And again, uh, they started to be laughed at. The miller thought, huh, that's enough, that is enough. And then he picked on the boy on the donkey with him and then they both started riding on the donkey. And then, soon after, a few miles later, they saw a farmer, and the farmer was on the donkey side this time. And then they said, you stupid people, don't you know, that donkey would die. So if you shut up, get off the donkey, but only one of you can ride him. Because one, he's very old, and two, that donkey will die if you both ride on him. And then the, the miller and the boy decided, oh, this is enough, enough. This is absolutely enough. I, I had enough for my boy, that is enough. I can't have these people telling me all around what to do. So we'll just stick to our idea. And then they, and then they both started carrying the donkey. So, but before they could do that, they, the miller said, you go and get the pole. And then they wrapped him up on the pole, but upside down. <laughs> and then a, one mile later, they finally reached the supermarket. Everyone laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and said, <laughs> Everybody, do you see this man? <laughs> He's carrying the, his donkey upside down. So, 
they were very tired of all this laughter, they just left the donkey at his shop and sold it to him, a guy and left. While they're walking home, the member said, Son, I wanted to, I've learned a very important lesson today and I'm passing it down to you. Always go through your own mind. Don't follow someone else's mind. You always stick to your ideas. So it's like, kind of like, you can ask your, all your friends and family for advice, but just one thing. Don't let them control your mind. You control your own mind because then you'll come up with silly ideas that don't even work. And that is the moral of the story. And goodbye.